Hello. Today I have a few clear demonstrator pens I'd like to show you. Um, I also have the Pilot Elite 95S just for size comparison. So these are all small pens and they come as clear demonstrators so you can see the cartridge or the cartridge converters. Over here I have the Pilot Prera, an $80 pen, 80 New Zealand dollars. I have the Herbin fountain pen, uh, the same company that makes these inks, uh, Jacques Herbin. And finally, I have a pen BBS marshmallow with a mini food a uh, nib. I think them with uh, different inks. This one actually doesn't have um, a cartridge in it right now, but I've got one prepped in advance. And let's see how they're right. So I might start with the Pilot Prera. I really like this pen. I've had it for quite a long time. This was one of my first pens actually. Um, got it for 80 New Zealand dollars. Um, this apparently has the same nib as the, uh, I think, Pilot Metropolitan, which is a much uh, cheaper pen. I think that's only 36 or 40 New Zealand dollars. Um, I'll just show you some of the details. So Prera. It's nice, you can see the cap liner as well. I think this one was the black one with the end. I have this particular pen inked with the Pilot Yamaguri ink, which is a sort of darkish brown ink. And it has the, I think it's the Con 40, is it? That's the um, standard converter. Doesn't hold that much. Let's see how it writes. Pilot Prera. Pilot Yama. Ink, some downstrokes and upstrokes, right and left, no skipping, also no skipping, flexibility test, there is some flexibility to this nib, this is a steel nib, you can see there, Pilot Super Quality, and it's a Pilot Medium. wetness test and it's actually quite a wet pen and you can actually see the nice sort of brown color here well, this pen has served me very well but I don't use it very much these days next pen that I have to show is the Jacques Herbin fountain pen and this one I've also had for quite a long time this was probably my fourth or fifth fountain pen um, these retail for 30 New Zealand dollars, so it's quite a cheap sort of pen. And um, they're meant to be sort of posted and then you write uh, sort of like this. Um, again, the demonstrator pen. This one has been well used, even has a crack right here. Uh, still works okay. Let's sort of um, show you the uh, nib here, it says Iridium Point. It uh, doesn't tell you what size it is, but I think this would be a medium. Um, these kinds of nibs really are similar just to generic Chinese nibs that you might find from manufacturers like Jinhao or Wing Sung. Um, so really, I think um, this pen just carries you know, the name of Jacques Herbin, um, but doesn't necessarily mean that it's a, I guess, French pen. Um, it used to say her being quite clearly there, but due to use it's been slowly worn off. Oof. <laughs> and of course due to the crack this doesn't exactly screw on that well anymore. Um, the metal ring here just falls off sometimes. It's a surprise they haven't lost it.
With this pen, it doesn't come with any converter, although you could just use a standard universal converter. I've just got a cartridge. I think there's a 2.6 millimeter one. And usually what I do with cartridges, um, once you sort of uh, break the seal, I'll have to sort of fill the feed a little bit. And I pluck it out and then I fill it from sort of the top like this. And that will soak the feed from the top. And now you can sort of see that the whole feed is saturated off. And so this is the Herbin Fountain Pen. And it just has some generic black ink from the cartridge. Downstrokes, upstrokes, right and left. I mean, the line is considerably thicker than the Japanese medium you see on the Pilot Prera. But I think this would be considered a medium uh, by European standards. No skipping downstrokes or upstrokes. How much flex? There's actually a considerable amount of flex to this pen if you sort of compare. And how wet is it? <laughs> Remarkably wet. So this pen is, um, it still does hold a place in my heart even though it's uh, kind of broken and cracked and scratched and worn. Uh, but it's still a pretty good pen for 30 bucks. Finally, I have here um, a more recent purchase, probably only about five or six months ago, um, maybe seven months ago. This is a Pen BBS Marshmallow Pen Demonstrator with a mini, mini Fude nib. It's a bit longer than these other ones, but you could write without it posted or with it posted. It feels quite all right either way. It's a very light pen because it's plastic, um, so it just depends on your preference really. It's a thin pen as well. It's got its, it comes with a cartridge converter. I have this one filled with Lamy black ink. Um, in terms of the nib, if you take a closer look, it says Marshmallow Shanghai Mini Fude. And if we have a closer inspection, I don't know how close I can get. And you can see from the side profile, the uh, sort of Fude appearance to it. There's a very tiny nib with a interesting sort of writing experience, I guess. Um, let's take out the... Oh, I don't have this filled completely. Seals very nicely. So this is the Pen BBS Marsh Mallow Mini Fude Pounder Pen. Lamy Black Ink. So downstrokes are thin. Right, thicker. Upstrokes of course thin and to the left, thicker, due to the shape of the nib. No skipping, also no skipping. Flexibility. A more rigid pen with a little bit of flexibility. And then wetness, perhaps slightly drier than these last two, but still writes pretty smooth. And I, have, I haven't touched the nib at all really, there's no tuning being done on it. Very good pen. <clears throat> so, well, just out of comparison, um, it's not, obviously not a demonstrator, um, but size-wise, when posted, I think that's a pretty good standard for a size for length. It's a bit too short, but with it posted, the um, 
PMBBS um, Marshmallow pretty much has the same thing. Pilot Prera posted also approaches a similar link. And finally, the Jacques Hubin fountain pen, when posted, also approaches a very similar length. So I think they all sort of end up writing quite well and are quite comfortable to write with um, once posted, even though they are quite small, compact fountain pens. Anyway, that's all for today.